Hello and welcome. Now today I'm going to do a cover disc and that's the one that some of you have been waiting for. <laughs> it is the CU Amiga Disc 41 and this seems to be quite an influential disc on quite a few of your pasts and including mine as a couple of you have said that it's your favorite, one of your favorite cover discs. It's one of mine also because it's got quite a good selection of games on it. So let's get started with this. And let's get started with some tea. I'm like sleeping right next to my <laughs> tea infuser. Right, so the first game which I played on this disc ever was Cubic. So I'm going to start off with that. Of course, it's a clone of Qbert, <laughs> but this is the first ever Qbert style game I knew. So before knowing Qbert, I knew Cubic. I have to say it's a great clone. Oh, there's that stupid annoying level later on where you'll see when I get to it. Bottom ones that are difficult to get to get through. Oh, freak sake, go away. Another double one. Whoa, that was so close. <laughs> Darn it. I didn't see that. Are you supposed to? Start to get all again. Go away. Get as much as I can. Woo. Right. That basically holds off, holds them off. Gives you the chance to kind of like. Nice perp, nice um, magenta ish kind of color. I'm not a big fan of pink, but this shade of pink, which I think is more magenta, or I kind of like. <laughs> you never know where they're going to go. So you just don't have a clue. Oh, 
Oh, this is the annoying level. Where you can actually go back on yourself and undo what you've just done. I hate this one. This is the one I was talking about. <sighs> is there a level like this in Cuber? Stupid thing. Now, how am I supposed to escape? Ooh, who's this dude? Well, whatever he is, I got him. <laughs> I need that! Oh, you stupid fuck. That's so frustrating. Go away. I can't hit this level. So unfair. I mean, I've done it. I've gone past it. Shut up. I've gone past it, but... Nix is just asleep there. I was supposed to get those two down without ruining the rest of them. Oh, you idiot. What is that? Do... <laughs> do it you know when you first kind of before these idiots start coming no oh you freaking i just got a life i lost it exactly the same time what's up you you're looking at me in a funny sort of way oh okay i got a cat on my lap now <laughs> He's taken over my lap now. He's only started doing that like this year. He doesn't normally do this, yeah. So the whole time I've had him. Right, that's, uh, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna play with this because that's a frustrating level. Because I wanna show you Mr. Wobbly, right? It's gonna take, I don't know how to, it doesn't take that long to load. Anyway, <laughs> next game, Mr. Wobbly, right? <laughs> This is the one which a lot of, well, a couple of you have been waiting for. Because it's Space Invaders Cologne, but with a twist. You know, there's like another layer to the game. Someone said some of that is some interest, and I actually kind of like it. There you go, Mr. Robley. Now, the sound effects can be a little bit annoying. <laughs> like this chim chim PR is annoying. So we have to do this little man called Mr. Robley. And you have to kind of run and pick up these stuff from the other side. Once you're done, you've got to switch, press the switch and another something else comes up. Now, you won't be able to get to the ship bit, right? Until you collect these five stars. Because these are like first class, you have to get to first class pilot and then you've got to collect your extras for your ship. So now you're on third class, uh, class pilot. And it does get tough. Okay, second class. So, I've seen constant fire. I went into the zone then. <laughs> I completely, like, I went quiet. Because I kind of, like, completely got engrossed. Yay, retro bases. Needed that. <laughs> oh, you freaking. So you get three men. T 
two guns. Good. So you need to keep getting more stuff. As much as you can, because the more you get, is the easiest to get. Oh! It's just carelessness. It's like practically raining down. Raining down chimps. What power up am I onto? I don't even I don't even realize. I'm just be collecting extra bullet. Okay, good. Oh, no. Okay, so your three men have gone. So now you have. Ooh, fast! Actually, this is probably the best. Watch out! <laughs> I'm going to get the Yorkshire accent. No, I missed the. Ooh! That's the problem with having extra gun. You can't move out the way fast. But this is probably the best I've had. No! Well, I got the spaceship at least. It adds an extra dimension to the game. No! But I, I got them. As in, I, I got... So this is the next level, basically. So you gotta do it all again with the man. Goodness, I almost. But if you don't reach first class pilot, it's game over. So you have to at least reach that. Sometimes you just gotta make a run for it. Okay, well. I didn't get much this time, so... Not the best of ships! Watch out! <laughs> this thing is... The thing is, with a single ship, at least, or a single bullet... Yeah, okay, you don't get them as quick, but at least you can move out the way, because sometimes when... With this too much... Too many chimps coming down... <laughs> you don't... You, it misses the... Oh, stupid bullet speed is so slow. Oh my god, it's getting intense. No. Oh no, I got one more. Ah. If you're a fan of Space Invaders, Check this one out. It's actually quite good. I'm pretty sure you'll do better than I do. <laughs> right. So, let's... Right, I'm not going to do Catchem because I've already done a nostalgia time on that, on Catchem. So I'll link that in the description below or, you know, this thing here, the letter I. Not Maroko. The letter I. And this one... At first, you know, but whoever I've shown this to has said, oh, millipede or centipede or, you know, a clone of millipede or centipede. But I don't think so. Like, it, I think it's more, it feels like there's a grid runner, an old game called grid runner. I think it's a clone of that. I might be wrong. Anyone who... I mean, yeah, this part makes you feel like it's millipede or centipede because it's the way they move. But then... The other stuff. It, there's a there's a game on the C64 called Grid Runner. Well, at least I played it on the C64. Only like once, or once or twice, I mean. And I think it's that. I think it's a clone of that. I may be wrong. But that looks similar. It's that little laugh that you can hear amongst the. <laughs> it's like quite clever that like, because it, it, it's quite... you get stuck. It's quite satisfying. <laughs> well, this... <laughs> I used to do... <laughs> I did that for ages when I was little. But because of this. You know?
Uh. I think this game is a. I mean, it's already like. Okay. Let's just get in the zone. Uh. Actually, why am I staying at the bottom? You, you can go anywhere on the screen. Like there. For sake. No, I don't have another game of this. <laughs> oh, you freak. This game seems to be quite generous with the lives you get, the pods, as it's written on the top. You can do two player um, at the same time. Co-op. Oh my god, that's... Did you just hear a lemming? Because I did. <laughs> That just sped up. Ah, you gotta be careful with these because they can come out in any direction. Downcoming ones. I keep seeing some walk past <laughs> the window. Take that was close. Ah. So this is make it so that you cannot stay all the way at the bottom all the time. Concentrating on the top ones. It, you know what it is? I think Jim and the grid is broken. You cannot travel on that thing, so it stops you. Oh, you can't you shoot them. I don't think I've been this far. You just have to avoid them. These blood cell things. Oh no, the coins. This is harder than it looks, by the way. <laughs> oh, these are quick. I mean, it's not too hard, to be honest, but it can get harder. That's what I meant. The first level is actually quite easy. The first um, waves or whatever it is. Not donuts, the polos. Polo mints. Freak. What are these? Oh my god, I, it feels like I cannot shoot. Oh no, I can't shoot them. They're just very dark because it's grey. I don't think I've actually been this far before. that hard this game it just couldn't get like certain things can just like get you all of a sudden without you expecting it <laughs> like that Oh, 
Oh my god! Why was it so hard? <laughs> Alright, let's have a look what they are. Basta, fasta, eater, taka, daga, darta, upa, upper, a and r look very similar. Randa, bloka, bloka, bonka, <laughs> speed, <laughs> jailer, diver. Okay, divers are not nice. Um, cater, Homer, <laughs> Bunja. Anyway. Oh, we can escape from it. Right, so catch him, as I said, I've already done. Um, done cubic pun. So all that's left is maze. <laughs> I don't know what the, It's. I don't remember being it. I remember being quite like simplistic. Right. How'd you? Oh, okay. Curse the keys. So basically, you just it's just a maze that you go through. You got to do it in the least moves as possible. Can't use joystick or anything. It's just these. Keys. It's not even cursor keys. It's these num num number pad keys. What do you do on an Amiga six hundred then? Or is it num lock? To be honest, oh, solved in eighty seven moves. Okay, I mean it's not very exciting. Right. That concludes this cover disc. So, see you, Amiga Cover Disc Forty One. It's a favorite. It's one of my favorites, and it's a favorite of quite a few of you by the sounds of it <laughs> as well. So, those of you Space Invaders and also Cubic things like that, Mr. Robley and uh, sorry, Cubert, Mr. Robley and Cub Cubic. You know something? Just try this out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I'm not doing words very well today. So just Cover Disc Forty One. See you, Amiga. Enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos because I do lots of other things. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Also, please share my channel and let your friends know and do subscribe for more. For now, I will say adios.